In this video, we will learn how an iceberg is formed. When a big piece of ice breaks from a glacier and reaches open sea or ocean water, that is known as an iceberg. Now, how does an iceberg break from a glacier? There are two reasons behind it. One, when glaciers move in a downslope area, the forward motion of a glacier makes the front end of the glacier unstable. To some people, this can be a back end too, if you consider this side as the formation side of a glacier. Anyhow, the breaking of an ice chunk from a glacier due to instability leads to an iceberg. Now, this breaking process can also occur due to a second reason, that is warm water and warm air. When I say warm air and water, I mean any kind of temperature rise which is relatively unusual for high latitude regions. So what happens is, when a glacier moves, the bottom layer of the glacier, which is also called the glacier bed, as it moves, it carves a valley and forms a land depression. Now this land depression slowly gets filled up with water from open sea. If the temperature of this water is relatively higher, then it starts to melt and break the surface of a glacier and turns it into an iceberg. By the way, glacier is a freshwater source. Please keep that in mind. So iceberg is a large piece of freshwater ice floating in the open water. If you ever see an iceberg, only the tip of the iceberg is visible above water, while nearly 90% of it is underwater. After all, it's a heavy piece of glacier. Glaciers are commonly found in high latitude regions like Antarctica and Arctic regions, which consist of places like Alaska, Finland, Greenland, Iceland, Northern Canada, Norway, Russia and Sweden.